So guys, I'm going to the posho. Maybe you have to dry the maize first. Yeah, you can see. If you want to know if it's dry, you you've heard the sound, so it's very dry. So yeah, let's go to the the posho meal. So let's go. We have already dried it out. So yeah. A fruit is called papel. <laughs> so guys, this, these are guavas. Mapera in Kiswahili. Mm. African fruits. Hmm. They're in season right now. So yeah. You can see it's very nice. But it's sweet. Hey guys, so today <coughs> I want to try out and make a pili pili wakukahanga. Yes, guys, so it is only going to be three. I've got onions, I've just put it from the shamba, two tomatoes, garlic, lemon, and some chili. So I want to make pilipili ya kukaanga. So guys, yeah, I'm going to use my blender here, so, yeah, and some water. So I'm going to chop my spring onions since we don't have the raw onions. I put it from the shamba. And we also love this. 
You keep stirring it gradually so that it will be very clear and done. Then you cover it for 15 minutes. So I've opened it after 15 minutes and still stirring gradually. As you see in the video, and this is the time I pour my, I'll put on my salt, yeah, and, yeah, and then I cover it for a while now, for five minutes, and then, yeah, my chili is ready. I'm gonna squeeze it this. So guys, that's how I made my pili pili wakuka anga, and I'll be taking it with skumawiki, uh, anything. Even you can have it with rice, beans, meat, anything you want to. It's a good appetizer. So yeah, see you on the next one, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.
so after 15 minutes I've also checked and yeah still continue for <coughs> stirring it and this is the time that I'll add my salt yes guys 